Hi, so we just finished dream time medicine for the mother wound and I feel that this has been I think to date the most vulnerable real and raw experience of facilitation. A few days ago I learned about the Chiron archetype from Oath Oracle and I was sobbing the whole masterclass and what she shares about Chiron is the Sentua who was already wounded before he was birthed because his parents didn't accept him as he is half man half, half horse and um, he delved really deeply in the healing arts especially with well, I don't know this and um too well, but from what I gathered from with herbs to to heal others, and even when he was mm, being harmed and hurt again, it didn't stop him from healing, you know, from his vocation of healing, and it was just so close to home um I learned that. Also, that Chiron is best healed um, along with our own healing journey when we are supporting and guiding the healing of others. And I didn't connect to this before, but I am now, like being in the quantum womb space and also um, being in my on my personal journey with healing. Mm, the mother wound, mother hunger, has given me so much insight about why this work is so close to my heart and um, also why, well, um, healing and community has been so, so, so powerful for me. Um, I remember the time in the sweat lodge when I wanted to leave because it was just too much for me to stay because I was so petrified um, and the second time that I was in there everyone like the group was like the energies of the group and the emotions of the group was really running high and because it was my second time and because I made the conscious decision, I'm not going to run away. I'm going to meet my fear and I'm going to see myself through the fear. There was a sudden moment whereby I was able to steady myself, to feel spirit moving through my spine. And I was able to hold space through the technology of a Kasma quantum energy. And in that moment, it was peace. Even though it was chaos outside, it was peace inside. And the there was no fear. There was no fear. And it felt like because I was intentionally holding space for the people who I'm, I'm journeying with. Um, and that really supported my terror with claustrophobia. And I'm feeling it again this time, you know, like in quantum womb space as I am journeying alongside with the 22 of us um, doing the daily soul work and being in such deep relationship with little Steph uh, along with the other inner and real mummies in the group. It has been so powerful, the journey of walking each other back to love. And I think that was what really came through earlier in dream time, whereby we were resourcing the love that we already have and the love we have been pouring into ourselves over the past maybe 16 days and offering it back to our mothers and our mother's mothers, our ancestors of the maternal line. 
um, and there was something there that was so deeply potent as well as pouring forth to our inner child and then there was this um, video that I watched yesterday about how we are all our own angels that I resonate so deeply with because we have really been the ones that we have been waiting for not anyone else but all those times in the past whereby we always knew we'd be okay no matter what um, all those times where we felt that strength to pull us through even if we are throwing temper tantrums at the world <laughs> blaming and cursing the universe and our guides and also um, kicking and screaming. We've always made it out alive. I strongly believe it's because somewhere down the road, we decided to go back in time to offer ourselves then the strength, the perseverance and the resilience to pull through that dark night of the soul. And I feel this is what the past 16 days has been like for me and maybe for the other women in the group. But now I'm really connecting with the potency and power of community. I have connected to it, to this feeling multiple times, especially when I was uh, working in community at Lululemon. And then being in one-to-one -one space for a long time, like the past three years, I have forgotten how potent when it can be when a group comes together with a similar with a similar purpose intention or desire um especially with regards to remembering who we are and coming into the mm, ownership and also like um the reclamation of our power taking it back there is something so deeply, deeply powerful in the group's intention. And I think this is really moving me uh, in that direction. So I've been toying with a couple of ideas. Um, and something that feels so strongly is to create a group container of somatics, magic, earth magic, body magic, depth psychology, dream work, um, mythology, all things that I'm crazy about. <laughs> and sharing it in, in womb space in maybe nine months. Um, yeah, so that's just something that's on my mind. And if it may be something that interests you as well, please reach out and we can ideate together. We can brainstorm about what could be possible.